Hey, everybody, Ann here, sitting out on my porch, if you can believe that, and it's not freezing cold, and it's not raining down on me. Yeah, it's way past coffee time. Um, today, I just kind of was waiting on a couple people to get here, and uh, Doug and Violet, my old neighbors, they're the ones that took the leghorns. They came up and picked up my three roosters, and I kind of feel... Like I put on my big girl pants today because I know they're going to use them for sustenance. And at first I says, well, don't give them to anybody who's going to fight them. And don't tell me if you're going to eat them. Well, I know they're going to eat them. He knows how to harvest chickens and they don't need three roosters. They've already got plenty of their own livestock. So, um, so that's good. I think that's a good thing. And it's my first step into, um, you know, if I'm going to hatch out chicks... And I likely will. If a hen goes broody, I'm probably just going to let her do it. And so I'm going to have half hens, half roosters, likely. Um, I've got to figure out something to do with those roosters, and you just can't keep them as pets. You know, they're not going to lay you any eggs, and you got to feed them. So um, the only other solution is for me to use them for meat. But I can't make pets out of them. I can't, you know, give them names. They just have to be fed, kept safe, until which time that they're old enough to be harvested for me. And Doug and Violet have already said that they're going to teach me how to do that. But I couldn't do it with these three because I already kind of bonded with them. Um, I'm not going to cry. I just got like, uh, um, you know, the sniffles. Anyhow, um, and I had given them names and I kept looking at them and stuff. So I'm going to have to detach myself from future roosters because I know I'm going to have future roosters. And it makes sense to use them for meat. It does. Um, I'm going to learn how to can meat eventually. And um, because Mary, oh, your, your canned meats, they have just got me all excited about learning how to can meat. So that's going to be in my future. So the hens will lay me eggs and the roosters are going to give me meat. And, you know, at some point, uh, Romeo's going to get old and he'll pass away eventually. So I'll need another rooster sometime down the road anyhow. So, yeah, although it was bittersweet, but you would have been proud of me. He grabbed one of them and I grabbed the two others myself. I just reached in and grabbed them. And, um, in fact, he got, well, he got the barred rock and then I got the biggest, I'm not going to even say their names anymore. Uh, and then I got the, the biggest, you know, you know who I'm talking about. I got the other two. And I grabbed them and I put them in the cage and he took them. And uh, so I was really proud that I was able to do that with roosters. <laughs> and not small roosters. Those were some pretty nice sized roosters. So I'm very glad that it's going to them. They'll be able to do something with them that I couldn't. Um, but I'm going to be able to do it in the future. So today I've just been, well, picking up dog poop. Um, I've been digging out the trench off to the side that goes by the little pond thingy there. And that pond thing is turning out to be great because the chickens go and um, drink out of it. The dogs drink out of it. And they like to play in it. It's so goofy, those dogs are. And so I've been cleaning the leaves out of it and trying to dig it a little bit deeper. Um, went and gathered some more kindling wood. And, oh, Mr. Lucas' daughter-in-law. Oh, she uh, she works at a, a local store. Well, actually, I think she works at one in, in Jackson. I had to switch arms. Um, and she got me a, you know, when they restock the shelves and things are going, you know, if they're changing labels or if, or if they're changing up inventory, um, if there's something that's at a certain expiration date, you know, none of the stuff she gave me is expired, but um, they'll take them off the store shelves and they're perfectly good. She hooked me up with... My pantry is completely, completely filled again. Some really great stuff. Two big cans of pink salmon. Oh, my gosh. So that's pretty wonderful. Um, so I'm feeling pretty blessed. You know, I am feeling blessed. I'm glad I was able to bless some other people with some roosters. And, um, well, I I'm not going to do anything else, you know, video-wise today. I think this is just going to be it. I'm going to enjoy the sunshine. I'm going to gather some more wood. Uh, and, well, just plan for the spring. That's coming. Spring is right around the corner. Anyway, that's all I got for you guys today. See you in the next video.
thanks for watching everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.